What's the deal, Viral Gang? It's your boy, the one and only your host that do the most, Mr. Viral himself, aka the villain, because they hate me for my opinion. And I'm back at y'all with another one, man. Shout out all the supporters, man, from coast to coast, country to country. We see y'all out there in the comments repping, man. If you ain't a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button, man. And welcome to the viralist side. Hey, we got to talk, man. Angela Reese, Shaquille O'Neal, they making their rounds in the social media world, right? They're going viral right now. So Angela Reese has came out recently complaining about how she's tired of being sexualized. We're going to get into that. But she recently had an interview with Shaq, and Shaq made a comment. You know what? I'm going to just play it for y'all. Bro, imagine you... I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t-shirts you're going to sell, because you're tripping. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> what? Oh God. Those same little shirt you had on. Okay. All right. All right. Side. All right. Duncan, all right. All right. Bro, all right. I, 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 so, the WNBA, right? The ratings are down. They, they did the whole Angela Reese, the whole Caitlin Clark thing. They tried to create the storyline, still didn't help, didn't help the ratings, help the views. We had a segment like 30 episodes ago or something like that where we said, hey, man, you know, they should start hooping in lingerie. You know, sex sales, women love sexualizing themselves anyways. Most of them do it outside the court anyway. A few of them got OnlyFans and they be doing photo shoots and all type of shit, thirst trapping on Instagram. Fuck it. Thirst trapping the game. Maybe y'all will get more traction because women don't watch sports like that. Not like men do. And the numbers reflect that, which is why the ratings are down on the WNBA because, let's keep it 100, it's boring as fuck. They don't dunk. Like, it's just, it's hella boring. Women don't watch it. Men don't really watch it. So, in order to spice it up, we said, fuck it, start hooping in lingerie. Now, Shaq came out and said the same type of thing. Like, hey, think about how much merch you could sell or, you know, how the ratings would shoot up if them little ass shorts that you love walking around with on the gram and every time we see you, you was the hoop out there and be doing layups and... We can see your ass. Like, basically, that's what he was alluding to. You already sexualizing yourself as it is. Do it out there and bring the ratings up. She get irritated or whatever, obviously. But I got a question for y'all. Why say you tired of men sexualizing y'all when y'all sexualize yourself? Specifically you, Angela Reese. This don't make no fucking sense. Like, we just gonna call a spade a spade. Whatever universe that you're living in in your own brain, you got the right to live in, but that don't mean the rest of the world has to identify with your crazy-ass thoughts. And on nobody's planet Earth are you going to walk out here as a woman in these little-ass clothes, your ass cheeks half hanging out your shorts, titties out, we can see your nipples, we can see your camel toe every time you step outside, and then you're going to say, but don't sexualize me, but you're sexualizing yourself. That's not how this works. Men are visible creatures. We go off instinct. You're going to get sexualized. Bottom line. Period. Matter of fact, you're going to get sexualized even when you ain't trying to. You could be a target with a hoodie on and some baggy sweats. If we can see that silhouette, you still getting sexualized. That just is what it is. It ain't no getting around that. The same way a woman is hypergamous, they want bigger, stronger, taller, more money, six pack, bigger dick. The same way we have what we identify with in a woman and what we like, which is looks, which is sex appeal. We sexualize women in our minds. God programmed us that way. If you don't like it, go pray, meditate, have a spiritual talk with God and ask God, why did you program men this way? But regardless of the fact, that's how we program. But if you want to get sexualized less, stop sexualizing yourself. You don't get to have it both ways. Every time I see this woman, she's damn near naked somewhere. Ass cheeks, literally hanging out of her shorts. Like, you can see her ass cheek hanging out the shorts. How in the fuck are you going to do that and to tell men not to sexualize you? And y'all giving Shaq flack for doing the same thing because he came out and said, oh, I love her like a daughter. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be a father, father figure to her and, you know, help guide her through her career. At the end of the day... Shaq is still a man, and that ain't his fucking daughter. Regardless of the fact, if he said I love her like a daughter, it's not his daughter. She's somebody else's daughter. So when Shaq looks at her, he sees a beautiful woman. 
He still has the mind of a man. Regardless if he's tutoring her or helping mentor, he's still a man with instincts. So just because he's doing all of that doesn't mean my instincts turn off when I look at you. Now, he didn't even... I mean, he kind of playfully hit on her, but then he really didn't at the same time. He's just letting her know, like, hey, I see you already sexualizing yourself, so you might as well capitalize on it and get some bread out of it. That's basically what he was getting at. You're doing it for free. Make it to a business transaction. Make it into a, a business move and monetize on it if you're going to do it for free because doing it for free don't make no fucking sense. You out here naked every time we see you for the attention. But then when you get the attention, you got a problem with it. And that's the problem with these modern fucking women. Y'all don't know what y'all want. Y'all want to go to the gym in full face of makeup, titties out, coochie out. Y'all purposely get the tights that go up your ass crack purposely. And then when men sexualize y'all, y'all got a problem with it. Why are these men looking at me? Bitch, because you out here naked as fuck. What do you mean? You out here naked as shit. I can see everything. Am I not supposed to look? But then when men don't look, you got a problem with that. Now you're doing the extras to be seen. This is the motherfucking problem. Y'all are creating the reality that you live and then you cry about the reality that you created. You started sexualizing yourself. I wasn't even looking at her like that until I seen her doing all these photo shoots. Like, damn, she got a body like that under that uniform? I didn't even know that. And I wouldn't have knew if she didn't put it out there. So kill all that noise with that, oh, I'm tired of being sexualized. No, the fuck you not. You just ain't getting sexualized by the, the man you want. The one that you want to submit to ain't nowhere around. He ain't sexualized. You getting sexualized by these fans that you looking down on. You getting sexualized by niggas like Shaq that you look at as a father figure. These niggas on Instagram that see your comments saying the most lewdous, ridiculous, sexualized type of comments probably all in your DMs saying the sickest shit. Sending you all type of dick pics That's what you tired of But the nigga that you sexualizing yourself for To be seen He looking right past you He looking right past you So now you frustrated oh, I'm tired of being sexualized No you're not It's just not working The way you thought it would Which is what happens most of the time Because the guy you're actually looking for Ain't looking for that <laughs> Facts Ask any man out here. Y'all don't like the red pill shit, but y'all better sit down and start listening to some of these podcasts. Go listen to some of these old Kevin Samuel podcasts. Go and listen to some of our old Battle of the Sexes podcast episodes. That'll give you the game. You cannot sexualize yourself and cry when men sexualize you. That ain't how it fucking works. How you present yourself to the world is how you will be received by the world. How you will be treated by the world. If I go out here looking like a gangbanger, looking like a goon, looking like a stepper, looking like an ignorant whatever, that's how the world going to treat me. I can't show up to a business meeting in a black hoodie with a poo shiesty on and think I'm going to be treated like a fucking businessman. They're like, who let this nigga in the building? Security. Because that's how I'm presenting myself. If I want to be treated like a businessman, I'm going to come in here with the three-piece suit and the tie on, with the hard bottoms, with the gators on. That's how I'm going to present myself. You can't present yourself like a 304 slut-ass stripper who does OnlyFans and say, treat me like a housewife. No. You look like a streetwalker. I'm treating you like a streetwalker. Bottom line, that's just how it is. Because if you're not a streetwalker, why are you presenting yourself like one? It's like the old Dave Chappelle joke. If I walk around in a fucking police uniform, driving in a police cop car, somebody's probably going to run up to me and ask for help eventually. Hey, officer. Oh, no, I ain't an officer. I'm just dressed like this today. What the fuck? That don't even make no sense. Dress the part. How you want to be treated, present yourself that way. You want to be treated as a respectable Young lady, soon to be a housewife and a mother, present yourself that way. Because that's not how them type of women present themselves. Yes, it matters. I don't give a fuck how much these woke, crazy, out of their mind, left, right, whatever side they identify with, lies to y'all and tell y'all y'all can dress like whatever y'all want. Y'all can fuck 100 dudes, do whatever you want to do, do porn, do OnlyFans, and men still going to, supposed to judge you like 
a good upstanding woman and a housewife? No. That's not how it works. Feminism lied to you. I'm sorry. You dress like a slut. You get treated like a slut. That's just is what it is. And don't ask, well, how do you treat sluts? You know how we treat sluts. We ain't even finna play this game. I'm not one of them niggas that's finna sugarcoat shit and play with y'all. Y'all know how 304s get treated because y'all see how they act. So if you want to be treated accordingly, dress accordingly. It matters. No matter how much you individually don't want it to, it matters. Bottom line. Shout out to Shaq, though, man. And shout out to Angela Reese. But facts is facts. The viral way.